What's up, best friends? It's Johnny Cash, black on black. Just kidding, just me, Brian Deitch. Today, we're gonna talk about healthcare. So let's kick this bad boy off. We'll start over here at the data center. Heck, I'll even label this bad boy, that way you don't forget. So you got your data center. And what do we have at the data center? Well, we have applications. I'm not gonna call out any specific vendor, but it's it's kind of the uh, the usual suspects, right? We have your EMR stuff. You have your EHR as well. These applications that reside over here at the data center. And who's accessing these applications? Well, <clears throat> your usual usual personas. Come over here. We have our clinicians. And of course we have our third party partners. And how are these clinicians and partners accessing these systems? They're probably using some type of uh, legacy stuff like VPN, ooh, gross. Maybe they're leveraging uh, VDI. I think I just threw up in my mouth. Disgusting. And uh, architecturally, how does this look, right? It's, it's pretty simple. You have partners that are coming in through in an external attack surface at the end of the day. They're coming in through VPN. And maybe you've done stuff like multi-factor authentication or OTP, you know, stuff that makes it more secure but kills the user experience. Perhaps your clinicians are coming over as well. Maybe they're not going through VPN. Perhaps they're going through VDI. You rest assured, you look at this and say, you know what, appropriate tools, we get there, we're good to go. But we're forgetting about one other persona as well. And unfortunately, it's the threat actors that are out there. So we come over here, a little happy threat actor. They have horns or maybe bunny ears. I have no idea. Uh, Threat actor. I think we all miss the days of the threat actors that just kind of minded their own business and stayed out of the healthcare stuff, but whatever, they, they don't do it. With the threat actors, they look at this and say, you know what, we're looking for uh, external attack surfaces to come in and just ruin people's day. That being VPN and VDI, they're looking for zero day type of exploits. So they're going to come in over here and try to get in through some type of RCE, CVE, whatever it is, they're coming in here and trying to just wreak havoc and create bad times. Now, <clears throat> if you couple that with the like EMR and EHR, right, they're starting to modernize things. They're thinking, you know what, these old school ways of bringing users back onto the network or doing different things just isn't that great of an idea because yeah, maybe it works, right? But unfortunately, even our threat actors have the ability to come in and putting users on the network, it's yucky. And you might be thinking to yourself like, hey, it's a, it's a tool, it works. But at the same time, like it, it's kind of like doing open heart surgery, right? Yeah, you could probably use a chainsaw to do it, but that, that, that person might not be around at the end of that surgery, just like your business or your EMR, EHR services. So just like EMR, in the EHR is starting to evolve, right? They have stuff at your data center, or perhaps they're even going uh, like a cloud hosted version of it as well. They're starting to modernize, and so should you. So we'll say, hey, we got EMR and EHR here as well. So you have the EMR and the EHRs of the world starting to modernize. You have maybe your CISO saying this whole zero trust thing is something I want to do. And you're trying to figure out how can I actually implement this uh, with, with success. So there is a better tool. And as we look at that, that's going to be Zscar. So anything in blue is going to be Zscar spe uh, specific. We'll draw the Zscar cloud. And I refer to this as the zero trust exchange. And just like drinking a Coca-Cola in 1920s, you might be thinking, what's inside of this thing? I'll tell you right now. So first and foremost, when it comes to VPN and VDI, friends don't let friends do that anymore. We're gonna be able to just kind of yeet that right out of here, retire this legacy type of infrastructure entirely, which means these threat actors 
they don't have an external attack surface to go over. Boom, this is gone. There is no weight inbound because it's dark. <clears throat> From your clinicians, the way that we're going to do this is we have a little agent called Z-Scare Client Connector. And long story short is that traffic is just going to flow in this direction towards the zero trust exchange. Same thing with your partners. They get a fancy little agent as well. By the way, this does support Improvata. And last but not least, as the traffic is flowing over here, we have to figure out how do we get the traffic back down to the data center. If I'm coming over here and saying that VPN is dumb, we have another little VM that lives on-prem. The way that this works is it has what I call application adjacency. So it can talk to your internal EMR and your e EHR. And as you start to evolve and maybe move towards a cloud hosted program or platform, go in this direction as well. Now what makes this different is instead of listening like VPN or VDI, it actually reaches outbound to the zero trust exchange. So you can't reach it, you can't breach it, it's completely dark. So as your clinician comes through and says, hey, I wanna to talk to the EMR, that traffic is tunneled here to the zero trust exchange. We look at the identity of that user and produce a verdict. Can they talk to that or not? I can steer them as well, either to the stuff that was on-prem or maybe even the hosted, as well as keeping them off the network entirely. But in the idea of zero trust, this user can talk to it. So on this outbound connection, I do a micro tunnel back over here and down and allow that user to interact with that application. Same thing with your partners. As they're asking for an application, we tunnel that traffic over here, comes through, and your policy verdicts are allow, deny, isolate, steer, and even deceive. But if this partner was trying to come in and talk to EHR, again, allow them to do this. Then as you start to evolve and go to hosted, again, I can take that traffic and send it over here without having to introduce any risk and minimizing all the safety concerns. So the outcome of this platform. You start to get zero trust based upon the identity of the user. Secondarily, you remove that attack surface that you have, that VPN endpoint, that external VDI that's sitting out there waiting for threat actors to come in and breach it. And you can look at your hosted stuff, keep it completely dark, no way inside of there. And then as you start to embrace zero trust, it's not just applicable to your data center, your hosted applications, but also the SaaS-based applications and the internet as a whole. So that's my time. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. Find me on LinkedIn and we'll go from there. Thank you. Thank you.